we do here. Okay, we are back live here on Rock Music Hub, and we have got a tremendous guest with us today. And uh, it, there's been all sorts of shenanigans. We've got people who have scheduled interviews who are jumping in front of each other. We've got people that are scheduled for like 10 hours from now that are excited, that are calling us early. I go to our first guest. Uh, Mark, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, actually. So give us a little bit on your background, my friend. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a keyboard player. I've been uh, writing songs most of my life. I've been in a couple of bands, uh, starting with Valhalla, moving into American Tears, which is uh, something we're revisiting over the last three years. Also, a band called Touch that had a bit of um, success. Michael Bolton had a song recorded by Cher called I Found Someone. That's awesome. That we're kind of proud of. And um, a whole bunch of bands through the through the years, both rock and pop. Yeah. So, uh, revisiting American Tears. Um, tell us a little bit about American Tears. American Tears was a band uh, of the early 70s. We did three three records uh, on Columbia Records at the time. It, it's a keyboard trio. Uh, though on, on the third record, we added a guitar player, and we morphed into a band called Touch. Uh, 2017, I hadn't heard a synthesizer solo in about 30 years, or an organ solo, or... A song more than <laughs> three and a half minutes, and I really kind of uh, longed for that freedom that American Tears used to have. Yeah. So uh, we did a record called Hardcore, 2017. Another one called White Flags in 2018 or 19, around there. And the new one is just out. It's called Free Angel Express. It's kind of been one long album. Uh, it's just been a lot of American Tears over the last couple of years. Yeah. And uh, that's out right now. Awesome. Awesome. We have got Mark with us today, American Tears, uh, Free Angel Express, is the latest from him. And he joins us today here on the Rock Music Hub and also kjagradio.com. And uh, so g give me some ideas behind this uh, this video and uh, some of the behind the scenes for, for, for this uh, for this track, my friend. Are we talking about Woke? Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, okay. Woke. Okay. Yeah, our, our first single was a song called Sledgehammer, which is... Uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I just had some coffee. <coughs> not a problem. Um, not a problem. It's not the other thing. So as... as uh, we started off with a rocker and um, sledgehammered, which when you play a guitar riff on a Hammond organ or a synthesizer, it becomes a whole different kind of animal. So I have a lot of fun um, doing that. Uh, but Woke is, I'd say, more of a ballad. And it's um, kind of asks the question, are you woke? Invites you maybe to be woke. I guess it, in a way is a little pissed off about certain things that are happening. But uh, as I do with American Tears, it uh, kicks into other tempos. It's not formula, normal music. Yeah. Uh, so we don't, we don't stick to that verse, chorus, three minute kind of a thing. If we want to change tempo, we change tempo. There's some, a lot of keyboard tapestries, I would say. Um, really love to pile up a Hammond with a Mellotron and a string section and synths over it. So you kind of build these, these animals and these tapestries that are more than any single part of any of those instruments. And that's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so Woke starts off with that question and then just launches into a lot of music awesome I would say awesome hopefully, hopefully sailing kind of music now you are 
currently in Stockholm, Sweden during the pandemic. Tell us about how how and why you're in Sweden of all places. Well, uh, I started doing a lot of music here and uh, my girlfriend, who as of last week is now my wife, we got married. Well, that's awesome. This is very cool. Um, so I've been here since April of 2020 um, because of the travel restrictions. Yeah. Um, I believe now we're going to be able to get get back. Uh, so I'm missing my family in the States a lot uh, and was able – I don't know if you're – visual but i have my studio right behind. yes I, I i see that and i and i think that is uh fantastic if you if you want to see this you need to go to the website kjagradio.com and you can see this uh he's got his studio right there you know in front of god yeah, and everybody you got it all baby it's basically a studio apartment and i have um you know if you have a mac and some very good speakers you can do do a lot and a lot of people in this pandemic group creative people are finding other ways to be creative by playing gigs or whatever. So um, definitely was able to get in here and do a lot of a lot of things, a lot of music. And you kind of, when you have an idea, you could just jump on it as opposed to in the old days where you had to wait six months to get a budget and go in a studio. Yes. Now you very much can, can do it in, in a world-class kind of a way. So that's what's been going on here. As far as the pandemic, I mean, it's basically all but gone here. It's, it's I would say, different in the States in that um, they rely on people's common sense and people have been social distancing and wearing masks and not, you know, pulling all this uh, bullshit drama. That, <laughs> yes, yes. That you see so often because they're smart and, and they know, um, again, common sense. Yeah. So it's really not so much an issue here i mean when we go out we social distance and definitely wear masks and are, and are careful but that seems to be have seems to have kind of taken care of it so uh it should be interesting when we go back to the states i'm really looking forward to it i want to get my shot really quick and uh hopefully get back to some sort of normal existence that's awesome we have got mark mangle with us today he's often asked about the track he co-wrote and recorded with michael bolton of all people which is uh for uh some some great rock fans out there one of the better tracks from this singer as he's uh as he says he's holed up there in stockholm sweden you you see the uh incredible studio behind him um mark has took the time today to walk us through what uh what he's he's been doing and and how he's been doing it um so classic 80s keyboard sound uh this is awesome because i love that sound uh talk to us a little bit about working with with michael bolton and and doing this keyboard stuff and and you know not settling and, and just just making some good music yeah working with michael was wonderful. I mean, New York was a wonderful scene in those days. In fact, it's kind of one of the reasons I originally came to Stockholm because there's a great music scene in Stockholm, and that's I don't know awesome. If people really realize how much music worldwide, including the U.S., including all the big stars from Katy Perry to Lady Gaga. It's all Swedes behind them. It's very often the Swedes or Norwegians writing those songs. Uh, and it's kind of a big scene here. But getting back to New York, there was clubs where you could go on any given night, and David Bowie would be there, the Stones would be there, China Club, for instance, and Nirvana. There was a jam every Thursday night, and you could see amazing people there, and you could meet amazing people. And Michael and I bumped into each other one night at a place called the China Club, and uh, we hit it off. I was in a band called Touch at the time which, by the way, just finished a new album and is out next month. But that's another story. Uh, and then Michael and I wrote Fool's Game, um, and we kept going on and writing more stuff, more rock stuff for his his next record. And then we happened to knock off a little song called I Found Someone, which fortunately found a home with Cher. So it was a, it was a wonderful collaborative um, environment and 
those people hadn't necessarily made it yet, so everyone was hungry and working hard. And uh, yeah, a lot of mu a lot of good music came out of those days. That's awesome. That's awesome. It is a uh, Mark Mangold with us today. He joins us today from uh, Stockholm, Sweden, of all places. And of all uh, places. he just he just recently got married. Which you know, if 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 you're gonna find a nice little Swedish girl. Uh, as, <laughs> put put a ring on it, my friend. She's nice, but I have a little, okay. <laughs> now, uh, now, Mark, uh, tell us about this video for woke. We're gonna play this here in a few moments. Well, uh, let me see. I found a, a a great video maker who's just I don't know. He's kind of a genius, in my opinion. And he can take these things that you might have to do at home uh, or wherever you do them because you can't get together with your band. Uh, drummers in Germany, Alex Landenberg, who's an amazing drummer in some great bands. And uh, on bass is Barry Sparks, who's with Michael Schenker and, and many other amazing bands. Barry played on Sledgehammer. And Barry's in Texas. So you have to do these kind of shoots at your home. And uh, Will, who edited it. it just made it exciting and put some cool stuff in there and kind of uh, captured the vibe which um, I think that's the whole goal is to try to capture the energy of the music which uh, on a very limited budget by the way um, I would have liked to have been standing on the top of a mountain but uh, it just was not in the cards <laughs> Well, uh, we are going to play this uh, video for our television viewers and for the folks on the radio. They'll be they'll be hearing the uh, the track. Uh, Mark, it's been an honor and a privilege, my friend. I really appreciate the uh, the time today, and uh, I look forward to chatting with you down the line. Great, and if you ever want to talk about uh, my band Touch, which is not I definitely uh, want to. In fact, yeah. I I um. Uh, I've got your information. Um, you've got my email, I believe. Um, cool. Let me know when you may be available here in the next couple weeks, and I would love to get you on our uh, International Live, which is on 107.5 in the United Kingdom, and I would love to talk with you about touch. So that would be awesome. That would Let's be awesome. It, so uh, um, it was great talking to you. Definitely, definitely. You've got my Skype here. As soon as we get done with this, when we go to play the song, I'm going to send you a date and everything here, and we're going to get this set up within the next five minutes. Great. So I, I appreciate it, my Thank friend. You. Take care, man. Definitely, definitely. I'll be talking to you here in a few seconds on Skype. We're going to play American Tears Woke right now here on Rock Music Hub. Our thanks to uh, Mark Mangold, and uh, we are going to go to this track right now here on Rock Music Hub.
That is American Tears. That is Woe. And it's here on Yo Rock Music Hub. Well, thanks for joining us today here on our big program. And uh, get more from Mark Mangold online. You can go to our website, kjagradio.com, for mo- 